Let's buckle up. We're going on vacation. I have given my notice. Pat on the back. A career change. Plus de peur que de mal. Even when you feel low, you can still go. It's major, but it's out there. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new chapter in my life. Get ready for a really exciting, fun video. I am so excited about this video. I'm so excited about how today went and what is coming. The first thing, I quit my job today. Pat on the back. I got a new job today. And I also booked myself a vacation. All the things that I have wanted to happen for the last couple months. I really needed this. I had a sinus infection for the last week, which is horrible. I sound so much better today. I actually don't sound sick. That is why I picked up the camera today, but I also picked it up because I love doing this and I'm having a really powerful moment. That is the word that I want to use. I feel amazing and I've had so many lows this year and I don't want to share them, but I've had a lot of lows and a lot of things happen and I lost hope in finding a new job and get into that career and begin my tech journey. Today is the day. So if you're losing hope and it's been months, it's almost been six months for me, just don't lose hope because when that time comes, just trust me, it will be incredible. Oh, I cringe so much. I hate talking about this. Do I say it? Do I not? I'm going to put this out there. I would never normally do this, but I guess this is my channel and I'm opening up. But I had a meltdown last night, this morning, and I think I really needed those meltdowns because I am the type of person that won't show any type of emotion. I keep everything to myself. I will lie to myself straight up. And I know I'm lying to myself, but I will just keep doing it. I pretended that I was fine and inside I knew that I was not fine. Obviously, I know there's worse things happening in the world and people are going through a lot worse than I am, but I'm just talking about myself and I don't know other people's experiences. So this is just from my perspective and my life and what I'm going through currently. And I was really struggling. I wanted more for myself and I felt like I deserved more and I, I really tried. It is tough and when you go through so many emotions at some point you're gonna bottle it up for so long that you are gonna explode. Just like popcorn. It explodes. I had my little moment. I calmed down and the moment I had clarity was at 7 a.m. this morning after I had been sick for the whole weekend. It's crazy how things happen, how you can bottle everything up and then at just some point you have that massive meltdown which needs to happen and that sickness can be able to go away, especially sinuses. Just not being able to make those decisions. If you look up the, the symbolism of sinuses, what it means and why you have it, which I didn't realize was something but if you have sinus infections and you're congested just those symptoms meant something when I was told that at 7 a.m this morning <laughs> that it's because I was avoiding something or I didn't want to be face to face with my problem I can't remember the exact symbolism of a sinus infection exactly might be changing a couple things but something along those lines and I was like I need a game plan like I need my game plan now like it's a Monday, I need to figure out what the hell I am doing. What's the next step for me? What I couldn't do in four days, I did in an hour. So I planned out the next couple of months, how everything's gonna go, and I made stuff happen today. And just that is such a win. And I feel like anyone that does something that they've been progressing on or scared to do or that risk that they haven't been able to take or that step forward that they're just too scared to make, pat yourself on the back because you have come so far from the person that you were trying to make that decision. And I'm saying that because I am so proud so proud of myself and last night I was criticizing myself <laughs> literally throwing my own self under the bus not being proud of what I have accomplished this year and it can be so scary but you've got to take that leap 
and once you make it your life will change i feel so much more in control than i did yesterday i left work last friday thinking that i would still be in this for months like i did not think that friday i would know my last day <laughs> it's so relieving scary as hell very scary oh my god there's a truck coming my way what is he doing but it truly feels so good so literally staring at me what the what is he doing i am back i can't remember exactly what i was saying last but i just wanted to end with i'm making this vacation happen i'm going away for a whole week i decided after i made all those decisions that i need a break i need a week where i can hang out by the pool not think about work not think about studying not think about what i need to learn what i have to do what's my next step i just want to relax try and relax do things that i enjoy and have a stress free holiday i just want to enjoy the sun enjoy the pool enjoy my own company appreciate myself reflect on myself i know it's so cheesy i'm cringing but yes i am going to have a vacation fancy that you would have told me that last week i would have been like in your imagination but it's happening but it's okay. It is okay. Actually going on a plane and I'm actually going to be in some sun. It's so exciting. Enough said. Really would like you to comment something. Anything about what you're going through. Anything you want to share would be amazing. Please comment down below. Even a dream that you have that you want to achieve this year or just a dream in general, a goal. It doesn't have to be work related. It, it can be a destination you wanna to travel to. Absolutely anything. Please comment it. And I would just love for us to have that conversation down in those comments. Enjoy the rest of this video. I don't know how much more or what I'm gonna film out of today, but let's buckle up. We're going on vacation. Also, I just wanted to end on one more thing, please please do something today that makes you extremely happy. It doesn't have to be as grand as winning your job or booking a vacation, but go out for dinner, go on that walk, write your thoughts, read, just take some time for yourself. Even journaling, I feel like, is massive. Writing down what you want to accomplish and then if you can do it now, do it now. But I totally forgot all my winter ski pieces. So I need to take all this out and repack with all my summer outfits for the trip. But I can't wait to wear all this stuff again and my goggles and my gloves. <laughs> Je voulais aussi inclure ce petit morceau de vidéo où je vous montre de beaucoup plus près bon, un petit sac que j'utilise pour mes chaussures mais c'est Lulu Castagnette qui se souvient de Lulu Castagnette Castagnette Bon vieux temps, bon vieux souvenir mais voilà Là j'ai mes chaussures puis l'Angleterre Voilà, partons au Texas also, it's the actual end of an era with scrub pants. I obviously won't be wearing scrub pants again, and this is the color that I was in every single day, wore these today. Plus de peur que de mal, la raquette de tennis rentre. Welcome to United Flight 2058 with services to Houston, Texas. Oh. 
I am in Houston currently. I just landed a couple days ago and I'm having a little vacation as I am going through a career change. I have been able to find that career path that I want to take and I've had an opportunity so I am hopping on board. I have given my notice, I've had everything taken care of and now I'm going through that change so I have a couple days to get myself ready for this next step in my career which I'm very excited about. I'm having this little holiday, this little vacation to refresh myself and make myself feel really good going into this new opportunity that awaits me. This whole change, leaving my job, getting out of scrubs, getting out of that healthcare field. It wasn't for me, but I feel like I was kind of thriving. I was doing a really good job. So I pat myself on the back for that. But I'm also very proud that I finally made a change because you could get used to something, be good at it, but not take on what you know is for you. So I'm excited that I'm bringing on this new opportunity and I am just so ready for it. So in the process, I have decided to be here in Houston and get myself prepared. So it includes a new wardrobe. So I went to this place in Old Town Spring with my mom, it's called JJ's Closet. And I have found some incredible pieces. It is secondhand. I am not the type of person that wants to spend $70 for a suit, blazers, anything like that. But I do love a good blazer, love dressing up. The first piece that I found, I'm ready to adventure a little bit out of my comfort zone. So I found this little blazer type thing. I could take these shoulder pads out because they kind of look a little odd. But I found this cute little thing and I'm obsessed. I actually love the colors. So I feel like even just having a white shirt, some black pants on would look super cool and fashionable. The next one is pink, which I'm kind of obsessed with pink lately and it makes me feel good. Dress the part, going into it like ready, but nervous. I got this cute pink one as well. And I just love it. Here's what I found. I'm very happy with. It's super cute. They've got these buttons. I also got a black blazer because I have a black one, but it's from Massimo Duty from like 2015. And it's this super cute one. It's got these super, 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 super. It's got these really cute arm buttons. Looks really sophisticated. I like it. These are all $10 each, which don't get me started, it's an amazing deal. Last but not least, purple. So I have a whole color scheme going on and it's just this purple. I've never been into purple until recently and I just find these buttons are magnificent and it is so soft. This is a purchase that I made. I'm looking smart and feeling good. Then I went into a British shop. I love British shops, I don't get them where I am. I bought one cocktails, I bought two packets. One of them is a gift, so she will know soon, soon, soon that I got this first. So I got two because I am actually obsessed with these as well. Oh, I went to my favorite shop, absolutely obsessed. Kind of one of the reasons was to go to a shop that was there and to go to this Turkish place because they were having Turkish pastries and some of my family is Turkish. So we got the pastries, which are in the kitchen, but I also got two other small little things. I just thought, oh my god, they're so cute. I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna figure it out. But these are cute too. I like it. Oops. Shoot. Where did you go? Cute rings. I think that is about it of what I wanted to share. I wanted to make this video because it is all about making decisions. If you want something, ask for it. Help other people. If you don't help, you won't receive. Ask, give back and receive. That is just something that I wanted to leave on. I don't know what else I'm gonna film from my trip. Just wanted to do this little video and share what I can because I am so thrilled and so excited for this next chapter of my life. So I hope everything comes into your life, especially with summer happening, things going on. I just hope that you can manifest and you can achieve your goals and everything that you want out of life. I might add in a little clip that I filmed at the start of this week 
about how I've been feeling and what's been going on. But for the main part, I am just so excited for this next chapter of my life and I can't wait to bring you along. Making those big massive decisions and changes is always scary. You never know if you're making the right or the wrong decision, but I was sick at the start. Oh, I was sick at the start. I had a sinus infection a couple weeks ago and it honestly started to clear up the moment that I started making decisions and started to really make my moves and choose this new opportunity. So I'm so glad that I did. Yeah, come along with me. I really don't have anything else to share. Nothing else has really happened. That is it. I mean, it's major, but it's out there and I'm so excited. That's what this video is about. Let me know in the comments down below what you've been going through. Everyone is fighting their own battles that none of us know anything about. So just be kind to people because you don't know what they're going through. And also share your goals below or something that you wish for or you want to achieve or any motivation quotes that you have would be amazing you can share them all down below you can also subscribe to this channel and i just can't wait to bring you along my journey and to see what you all get up to as well subscribe and like this video and i will see you in my next one until next time i just want to be great yeah i just want to be great yeah, I just wanna be great, yeah, yeah